So the other, the other reason that I tuned in today is that I wanted to talk about stress relief. I wanted to talk about grounding. Right now, the psychic feel right now is so heavy and so awful and we're all, our concerns makes our vibration go even lower, our stress makes our vibration go even lower. And I wanna give you some tips today on how to help with that, with this COVID season and everything that we're all going through. So, first thing is, is especially on a beautiful day like today, is you go outside and you take your shoes off. Get rid of the shoes. Walk in the grass. We're gonna talk about grounding, all right? Get your toes in the sand, get your toes in the dirt, get your toes in the, in the grass, whatever. But you need to ground. Now, what is grounding? Grounding is when you connect with Mother Earth, when you connect with your spiritual side, with God, and you align all your chakras. And I will talk about that another day. We all have seven main chakras throughout our body, and I will talk about aligning them. But today we're gonna to talk about grounding and balance. So first thing is, get outside, okay? It's a beautiful day. We've been having some great days lately. And get your toes in the dirt, in the grass. You need to ground. It'll bring some balance. It will ease your psych. It will ease your emotions and it will lift your spirits a lot. Try to be by running water. As you can hear, I'm sitting here in front of my waterfall and my pond. Um, running water is great. If you have a fountain, definitely go sit by the fountain. And I think I have a tractor coming through, so it's gonna be kind of loud, but uh, all of that really helps. The importance of grounding is, like I said, it raises your vibration. When your vibration is higher, you're happier. You're more content. You're you can problem solve much easier. You have uh, less stress. You feel like a weight's been lifted off of your shoulders and God knows we all need that right now, all right? The other thing is, is yes, animals. Animals can help you de-stress. Animals can help you ground a lot, okay? If you've got a pet, take that pet outside with you. Uh, pay some attention to the pet. Especially, of course, I'm very partial to cats because Cats really are the connection with the spiritual world. They, they see and hear a lot of things that we don't. So do dogs. So connect with your animal, okay? Um, the other thing about grounding is that, like I said, it balances your chakras. It balances your emotions, all right? Some other ways to ground is to take deep breaths. And I'm talking about deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, so like this and blow it out in that, all right? So you're gonna take another breath. And as you're doing that, kind of let your mind clear. Let go of those daily worries, let go of that daily stress. Just let your mind clear and do that about three times. Then I want you to think of three things that you're grateful for. You know, top one on my list would be that my kids are all healthy. You know, that's number one. Number two, that I have a wonderful house to live in, that we have enough food, that we're very content where we are, you know? The other thing for me is I'm thankful for the help from God. I use God a lot. I ask for permission from God whenever I do any of my readings. And without him, I wouldn't have any gifts. It just, it, it wouldn't be there. So that would be one of my first things is to say, you know, thank you, Lord. Thank you for putting me here. Thank you for putting me in the place where some people need me and I'll try my best to complete that purpose. So deep breathing, thankful meditations, we call that meditations or affirmative meditations. Get your feet in the ground, you know, in the grass, ground, center, take deep breaths, have some flowing water near you and just let the calm take you over. So hopefully that raises your spirits. I'll see you soon.